Welcome to the Flipped Back to School Night with Mrs. Abia, 7th grade mathematics at Abbott Middle School. I grew up in Streamwood, Illinois, and earned my bachelor degree in education from Northern Illinois University in 1992. I earned my master's in May 2002 in curriculum and instruction from Aurora University and national board certification in 2010. My husband and I have three adult children and two adorable grandchildren. My favorite things to do outside of school are read, watch Netflix, spend time with family and friends, and participate in sports such as running, biking, or just about anything outdoors. This is my 21st year at Abbott. I love this school and I hope you will too. This is a flipped classroom. What is a flipped classroom? The short answer is that students will watch instructional videos as homework and complete assignments during class time, essentially flipping homework and classwork. What are the advantages? Students watch their own teacher presenting material, take notes, and sometimes practice a problem with the ability to pause and rewatch if needed. The entire class time can be devoted to practice and application with the teacher there to answer questions on a more individual basis. What are the possible obstacles to overcome? Some students may not have Wi-Fi, internet access, or data readily available every day. Some students may need a device, such as a computer or phone, to watch the videos on YouTube. See me if you have a particular concern. There is additional research on the flipped classroom at the attached link. The YouTube instructions for nightly homework. Mrs. Zappia's YouTube channel is where you will access lesson videos for the Eureka Math Lessons. Search Sandy Zappia and subscribe. Videos are organized on playlists for each of the workbooks we will use this year. Watch these lessons as assigned and take notes in your Eureka Math Workbook. The video will mirror your workbook exactly. Pause the video to take notes or to work out a problem when instructed to do so. You can pause and rewind as often as necessary. Practice on your own, mark the text, and bring any questions to class the next day. Do not multitask. No listening to music, watching TV, or texting. Remember to silence your phone and turn off notifications while you are watching the math videos. The Google Classroom. You will set up a Google Classroom through your U46 Google account and will likely use this tool in several other classes. Check here for assignment lists, link to resources such as the textbook, retake forms, etc. Occasionally, an assignment or an answer key will be posted here. The Google Classroom Sign Up. Here is a quick link to Google Classroom you will need to join for periods 1, 4, and 8. The code is IQJNHQ. For periods 2 and 5, the code is TYIW9ZY. The user is your school email with your first initial, your last name, your five digit ID number at student.u-46.org. The password is your eight digit birthday. If you have trouble signing up for Google Classroom, I will help you sign up during the class on a computer. You will receive a link for this presentation and then you can just click the period you are in in order to sign up for the Google Classroom. Remind text messages. If you are allowed to receive text messages on your mobile phone, this is an excellent tool to be reminded about assignments and tests. Parents, you can use this too. You can also sign up for emails as well as texts. Seventh Accelerated, periods two and five, simply text the message at DBBF3H to the number 81010. For the course Seventh Math, that's periods one, four, and eight. Simply text the message at Mrs. Zappi to the number 81010. If you need help, bring your phone in and I will help you. You can also sign up using a computer in the classroom. And remember, you are signing up for either a text message or an email to get a reminder about homework. Math help. 
Many students need additional instruction outside of class time. With the implementation of a flipped classroom, students also may find themselves needing resources to watch the videos. The following schedule is an outline of my office hours in which students can come in for additional instruction, get extra help, or attend a practice session to prepare for a test or a retake. Monday through Thursday mornings, 8.30 to 8.50 a.m. After school help, by appointment only. Occasionally, I have meetings in the morning. I will post and remind you of days I am not available. Extra resources are available through these links for Eureka Math, Khan Academy, Extra Practice Tailored to Your Individual MAP Scores, and www.ixl.com. Infinite Campus. These are where your, this is where your grades are stored. There are three categories that we use on Infinite Campus. Practice is for recording your classwork. Formative is your quizzes and tests, and summative is for your test scores. I will be recording your summative scores on Infinite Campus. We use standards-based grading in math. Scores and grading to be expected in 7th grade math this year are either a 4, 3, 2, 1, or a 0. For more information on the U46 standards-based grading policy classes in U46, you can visit the link below. A 4 represents mastery, a 3 represents proficient, 2 represents basic understanding, and 1 is below basic. 0 is no evidence of learning yet. The assessment and retake process, and this is for summative assessments. Most assessments can be retaken to demonstrate mastery. This is a good way to improve your grade in math class. This policy puts all of the accountability directly in your hands. If you don't like your grade, change it. A retake form needs to be printed and read thoroughly in order to, to attend a retake session. And this requires a parent and student signature. We'll talk more about this after our first test. Absence and makeup work. You are responsible for missed video and assignments. Complete all missed work as soon as possible. If several days of school are missed, complete the current assignment each day and at least one makeup assignment until you are caught up. If you are absent on the day of a summative, you will be expected to take the summative the day you return. If you have band or orchestra sectionals, check in with your math teacher for attendance and to receive permission to attend sectionals. When you know about an upcoming absence, Please inform the teacher as soon as possible. A list of assignments may be given so that you don't fall behind. So there is Mrs. Zappia's back to school spiel. My contact information is sandyzappia at u-46.org. I hope to see you at the open house. Come in with any questions that you have, meet the teacher, and meet other parents as well.